As a family, as a football family, we put this game to bed on Sunday, okay? And uh, we have to move on from it. And uh, that's, we're not going to watch it tonight. I'm not going to do that. So I will tell you, it's probably the toughest loss I've had in my career. Um, it was painful in a lot of different ways, but I don't want to take anything away from what our players did because they worked really hard. They played with a ton of passion, a ton of pride on Saturday, and you saw it as much as I did. Um, they were excited to play that game. So things didn't work out our way uh, for a, a lot of different reasons, and Kevin Taylor did get player of the week, uh, which he deserved that. Um, you know, uh, two interceptions, I, 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 two interceptions, one for a touchdown, and uh, so he had a he had a real good game. Also, he was MVP uh, for the defense. Uh, just want to make sure you guys understand, I'm not taking anything away from what our kids did on Saturday. Did a, a lot of good things, a lot of good things, and uh, you know, um, and they play with passion, they play with pride. So um, we're just going to move on to uh, Bloomsburg here. Big deal for them. So they're going to be ready to play. We lost to them 17 to six last year, if you remember that. Um, at our home field, uh, we got to really, really be disciplined with our gap control. We got to be disciplined with our eyes, our techniques, things like that. It's a two o'clock game. It's their senior day, so it's their last day, our last game at home for this year for their seniors. So they're going to be emotional. All right. Uh, our motivation. I talked talk to them all week about eight and three, seven and three, eight and three, seven and three this week, eight and three next week. But that's got to be our goal. That's what we're fighting for right now. Fighting for our pride, right? Fighting for our pride that we finish this season strong. And uh, so that's what we gotta be, be able to do on Saturday. You, gotta, you know, whether you, you put up seven points or you put up 70 points, you gotta have the ability to move on, all right, move forward and, and focus on what's in front of you there. And, and listen, we, we recognize that, that as an offense, we did not play a great game in terms of production. You know, we had great opportunities, and, and, and man, the defense, they did play their hearts out. They, they were flying around there, right? They were flying around the field. And, and I think, really, you talk to some of the offensive players, they were just kind of like, man, you know, we felt like we had some opportunities. We didn't take advantage of it. And that's the case. But at the end of the day, you know, in, in, in football and in life, all right, in football and in life, you know, the sun shines, you got to move on, and you got to find a way to make it happen. So that's why the game of football is great, because it's a teacher of life there. It teaches you how to, how to get up and get out of bed and come the next morning and find a way. And, you know, these young men are fortunate enough to have families to find a way to support their family and make a living and do those things. So uh, we're going to take this as a lesson learned. Anybody, anything else? Thank you very much. Appreciate the support. Thank you for coming out tonight, guys. Have a great week.